Good evening, I'm Black Bright, broadcasting out of the UK. Welcome to my channel. And if it's the first time you're passing through, you'll probably say, oh, I wonder what she talks about. Well, I talk about a lot of different things. The description is below. I tend to put links in about the subjects I talk about so that you, so that you have a reference. You're not just relying on my say-so. Um, we have a lot of um, YouTubers that just have information and they don't really research. And I'm not even saying that my research is is any good. I'm just saying that I do tend to support what I'm saying with a link or several links. And then you can decipher for yourself whether or not I have any credibility. Anyway, sometimes I mess up and I usually put a little correction in the description if I realise I've made an error. So none of us are perfect. And so yes, yeah, so if you like what I talk about, please give us a thumbs up. If you don't like what I talk about, you can give me the thumbs down. If you're kind of neutral, well, maybe you need to see a couple more videos. Anyway, that's enough for me wallowing on. Um, subscribe if you like the channel and share if you want other people to know about it. So today we're talking about a six-year-old. A six-year-old got arrested. In fact, there was two six-year-olds that got arrested in Orlando, in America. Six-year-old children. Now, I don't know if you remember, um, you might not have watched the video that I was talking about with whether it's child abuse, um, forget what it was called. It was either child abuse, self-defense or discipline. And I was talking about when do you treat a child like an adult? Um, does it have to be under 18 or is there any is there any kind of limitation as long as it's your child? Anyway, six-year-old child. You know, when I think about a six-year-old child, I think about a little cute little thing. Um, might get a little sport, might have a little tantrum, but they're the cutest little things on earth. I would not think of a six-year-old being in doing anything that would put um, themselves at risk of arrest. Anyway. This um, police officer, name is what, Dennis, oh, what's his name, Dennis Turner. He looks like he might have, uh, might be Vietnamese, he could be, have a little bit of Chinese in him. He's black, but he's got, you know, kind of oriental eyes. I don't know what his background is, but he's definitely got issues. Apparently, because his child brought, brought home a... Uh, bad report he his body was covered with welts and goodness knows what else um so he's got issues and apparently they found him um tasering someone five times even though they were on the floor and they were not arresting arrest so he's obviously got some serious issues that being said and he has been subsequently dismissed but that being said um, the young girl, there was actually two boys. I'm not quite sure what the boy did, but the, the, the young girl, the six-year-old, she threw a tantrum and apparently kicked the teacher. I don't know why the parents weren't called. Well, she apparently lives with her grandmother, so her grandmother's the guardian. I don't know why the grandmother wasn't called, because you would think that six-year-old, you're going to get a phone call. Listen, your, your child is playing up. Will you please come to the school and talk to her or see what we can do about it. See if there's any issues at home, why she should be, why she's behaving in that way. That would be the normal protocol, I would have thought. I wouldn't have thought your immediate reaction would be to call the police. You know, it doesn't make sense. Six year old. Do you mean to say if you can't control a six year old or calm a six year old? How are you going to cope with a teenager? What are you going to do? So I think a lot of these teachers lack the necessary negotiating skills or whatever skills is needed for young children today. Most of the young children, they, they'll push boundaries. They, they know what they can get away with. And, you know, you'd, you'd be surprised. Young children can be quite intimidating, especially when they're small, because you don't know what to do with them. 
You can't, unless you're an abuser, you can't pick them up and shake them or hit them. So they can be quite intimidating when they're going off in one of their tantrums. And I can understand how some adults might be quite frightened and not know what to do. But you don't call the police. You call the guardians. Anyway, this woman, this teacher, whoever she is, or someone called the police, the police come and take them off, arrest them. They have their fingerprints taken and mugshots. I mean, the court was furious, absolutely furious. And apparently in the school policy, it says no one under 12, year old, 12 years old should get arrested or they should, they should not call the police on anyone under 12 years old. So, I don't know what you think about that one, peeps. Maybe you've heard about it, maybe you haven't. But boy, things are different. I mean, I know that children can be challenging, but hey, man, call the police. I was wondering if it was to teach the child a lesson or the children a lesson. You know, I can't, I can't think of the rationale behind it. I really can't. Anyway, I think I've said what I need to say. I don't know what the driving force was behind behind the child's behaviour. It doesn't say. Um, but yeah, apparently um, her criminal record has been cleared. You'll be glad to know. But I'm telling you something, why? Times look like children are rule. Anyway, that's all for now. Bye-bye.